Hi everybody, this is Sherry. Welcome back to The Right Stuff. And I have two pins here today um, that I got. And I thought you might like to take a look at them. These are on the lower end of the scale, um, uh, both under $25. Um, the first one I want to take a look at is this Pilot Tank Pin. Um, I was kind of interested. I saw this on eBay. <clears throat> Pardon me. And um, it was kind of a... I wasn't sure about it. It said new old stock. So I thought I don't want a, oh, um old pin that's real cantankerous and hard to take care of. and Because I'm just not um, that much of a nimmeister or somebody that really could maybe... Uh, you know keep up with some of the older ones but um, I got this pin I, I looked at it for a long time I looked at it on eBay I looked at it on Amazon and I ended up getting this one on Amazon um, I think it was twenty dollars and ninety five cents uh, don't hold me to that but it was right in that range twenty dollars and some change and it's medium nib and the one I chose was this black and gold one because I have some Pilot 78Gs. I didn't have a black one, so I thought, yeah, I want a black one. But uh, this is a, a pretty pin, I think. It's got a flat bottom. Um, it's um, Let's measure it and see what it is here. Uh, right at five and a quarter inches capped and posted. And this is one that posts really well. Um, it's very lightweight. It's, um, well, it's uh, five and three quarters inches po cap, uh, posted, I'm sorry. And um, so it's a, it's a, just a plain looking. It has a, a kind of a, an interesting design on the clip. Um, it has pilot on the clip uh, right here engraved. And black finial. And on top of it, it says Japan. And uh, it has a ribbed, uh, just slightly stepped down finger grip. And I, I do like that it has little grooves. Because, uh, you know, sometimes it can get slick. But uh, other than that, it has a medium nib. And it's a nice nib. If anybody um, is familiar with... Uh, Pilot snibs. It's it's a nice nib. What I found interesting about this pin is it was made to be a eyedropper pin from the get go. It has a little plastic insert, and I'd open it up. Uh, but well, here let me see if I can open it up. I did go ahead fill this up with ink, and um, so I don't want to make a mess. But it has a plastic little insert. See if you can see that little plastic insert right here. Uh, in the uh, nib end of it. It has plastic uh, threads, which I did put um, silicone on just to make sure. But it has this plastic little insert that was uh, specifically to make this work better as an eyedropper pin. So it was kind of interesting. I um, I like it. I, I um, chose an ink. Sometimes with eyedropper pins, um, I've, I've, you know, made this Nemocene, Nemocene, uh pin into an eyedropper pin. I have had this pin, this ink in this pin for a long time, like six months. I'm still working on it. So unless you really like that ink and you make an eyedropper, you better like the ink because you're going to get bored with it otherwise. So, um... For that reason, I don't make as many eyedroppers as I did in the beginning just because I like expression uh, of color and I don't want to get bored with an ink. So I chose, uh, uh, the ink in this one is uh, Private Reserve D uh, Electric DC Blue. And I really like that ink. It has some great um, sheen to it, shading. I just don't get bored with that ink or Naples blue. I don't get bored with that ink. So there's many good inks. That's my only tip or suggestion is that if you're going to make a eyedropper, make sure it's an ink you are in love with because you're going to have it for probably a good long while. Um, so this is a, a nice 
uh, surprise. Uh, I had not ever got one that was specifically made for eyedropper use. And uh, I, uh, let me, let me write here. I really enjoy this. Um, let's see. Really nice, smooth, um, nice upstrokes down. Um, let's see, I, I have never tried it. Yep, it writes under a little bit under its own power. I have not tried the upside down writing. You know what? It works really well. I'm not, a, you know, don't really do that. So you can do that. Uh, I don't know about variation of line, uh, line variation. Not a lot. I mean, you could get a, a small amount, but it's not a lot. Um, but this is uh, a really nice find. I really did enjoy this. I like having the eyedropper capability. And there's a look at that. And it's lightweight, uh, it has eyedropper capability, nice smooth nib, um, post well, which I got that off, post well, um, nice, nice pin. I mean, inexpensive pin. It, it's not, you know, going to be as smooth as something like this Pilot Custom or something, you know, like even the Stella 90s is is nice nib but it's really nice I, I do like it um, uh, I hope you take a look at this if you're interested in it uh, it was just a nice little surprise it was a, an inexpensive pin $20 I think it's still on there uh, on Amazon uh, you, I think it's listed under Pilot Tank Pin, T-A-N-K, Tank Pin. So here's a look at this one, uh, Pilot Tank Pin. And the, the other one I got, um, I ordered from Amazon also. It came in a blister pack, uh, this Waterman. Um, it's called a Waterman Couture, 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 please. And um, Couture, Couture is German for culture. So I got this and it was a, um, oh, I think it was prime. So it was a pretty fast shipping. Uh, it's made in France. It has a pop-off cap and it also can be converted into a eyedropper. You'd, you'd have to put silicone around here or even an O-ring uh, up there, but I believe it's waterproof. I haven't tested it yet, but I had read that you could do that. Um, it came with a cartridge. This is a very long cartridge. I'm not sure of the ink in there, but Waterman does make their own inks. Uh, I have one bottle of Waterman, I think uh, Serenity Blue, uh, but I'm not sure which blue this is. It wasn't, uh, it came with it, and um, it's a blue translucent body uh, with a pop-off cap. It is a medium. Oh, no, no. This one is actually a fine nib. This is a fine nib. And even the, the uh, finger grip is translucent. You can see the ink in there. It's kind of pretty. And um, it didn't come with a converter. And these do have proprietary... Uh, converters. You, I looked it up. I didn't buy one. It was $10. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, if you, <laughs> you know, this was uh, today. I looked it up on Amazon. It is uh, October the 20th. 
2016 and it was $24.53 and it seems it doesn't wildly um, you know drop in price like a, a lot of pins can but this one did drop in price uh, I think three dollars it was twenty one dollars and forty five cents is what I paid for this um, so it, it does fluctuate a small amount uh, if you're patient and uh, but it's right twenty five dollars and under is usually generally what this goes for and it does come with one cartridge but you can after you're done with this cartridge uh, you can rinse it out fill it up with whatever ink you want reuse it that's what I plan to do I can make it into an eyedropper but like I just said you have to really love the ink you're going to put in there because you're going to have it in there that's a big capacity uh, for ink so I plan on just using that uh, cartridge that came with it over and over but uh, it is a pretty I, I enjoy seeing this ink here it's really really lovely and uh I'll let you see the nib that's a fairly nice size nib and it's a fine and the top has this interesting looking uh, it has a hole right here in the clip and it has uh, right waterman uh, in etched into it very faintly right here no cap band per se because the band is there's a little silver band right by the finger grip uh, but it has a black finial at the top it has a logo of some kind right here but it's hard to distinguish what it is otherwise it's uh it's um the only thing i don't care for this it's a pop off top but this if this annoys you but this cap really wobbles around here uh, kind of loosely but uh, i don't know i didn't try to post this let's see if it posts better than it stays on yeah post pretty good it's lightweight <coughs> pardon me um yeah it uh it can be posted and uh, let's oh gosh did i shove that on there too tight okay let's do the measurements on this one uh wait a minute i'll wait a minute let me write since i got the paper here um let's see it's it's it, fine is always going to be a little to me scratchier than a medium but it's not it's enjoyable you know I I don't I'm getting more used to fine and I'm there are good times to use it Um, it it's it's nice for me. Uh, fine, it's got a nice nib. I think. Um, I have not tried to write upside down, so here we go. Yep, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, it's a little bit more scratchy upside down. Um, let's see, under its own weight. A little not much no but uh, this is a nice inexpensive uh, pen uh, the Waterman Coulter um, please P H I L E A S and I as stated before I'm really sorry I, I butcher most of these foreign names and um, <laughs> feel free to correct me I would enjoy it actually because you know, I'm not sure how to pronounce most of these uh, names from these pins, but um, it again, it's made in France. It uh, is a Waterman. It doesn't come with converter. Um, it is a uh, pretty looking pin. The cap on it is my only thing I don't care for. I don't like that it goes around like that. It just feels I don't know cheap when you do that. I don't care for that. And um, but otherwise, the pen itself writes real well. It's it's pretty. It's lightweight. Um, here's a look at it. Um, it is. I didn't do the measurements. And again, I'm not sure what the ink in this is. 
but they do have some nice inks and it it was kind of a medium blue uh five and a quarter about like uh the tank and posted um looks like again it's about five and three quarters five and three quarters so real similar in size a little bit uh, bigger round uh, if you like the cigar uh, pins that are a little bit it does taper down to the end and uh, the uh, the finger grip is nice uh, I don't think I'll have any problem whatsoever it does have a little bit of a uh, uh, ribbed right here at the finger grip at the very top if you grab high that would be good I tend to grab low which is no problem I don't think it'll be slick at all so here's a look at a waterman uh, couture please pep please please <laughs> again I am sorry and um, here is the pilot tank just so you uh, get an idea on the size of these this is a paradise pin the switch and here is the Caveco student and let's get hmm I think this is a um, perennial favorite is the uh, uh, Lamy Safari hmm. Lamy Safari so you get an idea of the pins and uh, it is rainy here today I apologize it's a little bit um, the weather has made my natural lighting a little darker so I hope uh, you're able to see this well but again here's a look at these two pins uh, I hope you liked them I just got in and I'll be doing a review of Noodler's uh, Luxury Blue I love these little bitty things I know you don't get much but hey it's cute Luxury Blue by Noodler's it's got a catfish and an old time car I'm not sure what the car is but it's just one ounce bottle it's glass and I'm kind of looking forward to doing this review I haven't done any ink reviews for a while so I'll be doing this but here's a look at this little bitty bottle it's really cute um, noodlers standard catfishy type box but um, you guys have a great rest of the week and thanks a lot for coming by and uh, as always God bless you all I'll see you again real soon bye bye